Okay, what I'm gonna show you now is how I knot off and hide the tails of things. Now, I showed you a little bit of that with the embroidery on the, the embroidery for a stem stitch, how I knotted it at the back and then kind of hid the tail so it won't pop up through any little hole or anything or get pulled up through something. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to do a couple of really quick stitches in here. Um, and <laughs> it's such a, it's so natural for me to just go straight to a blanket stitch. I honestly think it needs to be my signature stitch. So here is some real quick stitches. Uh, and yes, I do stab myself quite a bit. Uh, I prefer to use a number 10 embroidery, pretty fine embroidery um, uh, needle. Okay, doing my kind of clunky knot right there. And now I'm gonna hide it on the inside. Now I go back through And again, it's, you'd be hiding this and flip it to the inside. Now, I sometimes do a couple of different knots. One that I do a lot because I use a lot of blanket stitches because it's already knotted here. Um, and my, my, my dolls aren't meant to be played with. I sometimes will take it back through that seam um, just to kind of hide the tail and then nip it off. Another thing I might do and one of the things I like working with felt because of, I kind of go in between the felt. You can see I'm not, the needle's not showing on this side. There's no stitch. You can hide a, hide a knot on the underside of something. And I'm using my, my, my finger on the other side to press up a little bit. And I'm just getting a tiny little bit of the felt. And I'm going to give it a couple of knots just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And then I, st I still may hide the tail a bit here, and then I can nip that off. And you don't see it from the other side. It's hidden in here so you don't have to see it. And it makes things look a little neater, neater and tidier, uh, even though I do these big clunky knots on the outside, and I still wish I didn't, but I do. But, you know, meh. So I hope this helped a little bit uh, with how to tie things off.